right, we are back. And better than ever. We're going to finish up this last lesson from lesson five. And this unit is going to be on um, creating a table of values for uh, this function f and also sketching the inverse of this. Now, if you recall, with inverse functions, there are many different properties. One of the key properties we talked about in the previous lessons was that um, when you compose a function with its inverse, it always equals x. And that's a very important property that is used all the time. That is a test to find out if a function um, in this, uh, if a function and another function are inverse of each other. Because uh, you can pull them together and it equals, equals always equal x. Now, the other properties that we have is that um, with a graph, an inverse, okay, an inverse and its function will be symmetrical. So f and the inverse of f are symmetrical. All right, over the y equals x line. So if I were to draw a y equals x line here, and I'll do this right here, and I kind of start right there, and I draw this line, okay, I know that this new graph would have to be symmetrical over this line, okay? And this graph of um, the inverse of f, and I'm going to make a different color, I'm going to make this red. So this inverse graph, I'm going to make red. Okay, but it has to be symmetrical over this y equals x line. All right, over this y equals x line. All right, now, to do that, because it has that symmetry, we also know that there's some other properties, is that on a table of values, in which we're asked to do, because we have to find a table and then also sketch a graph, all right, is that the table of values is that if I have a value of a equals b, that the inverse, if I plug in the output, of the function, of the original function, it gives me out the input of the original function. So everything is switched. So with this, I can find actually out this value of this function by actually setting up a table of values. All right. And what we have here is I'm going to first identify the values that we have for this original function. So here I'm going to start at negative 2. And with negative 2, I get 1, 2, 3, 4. This next point is going to be negative 1, 0. And then another point right here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 2. 3 and negative 2. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. And negative 3. So 4 and negative 3. Now, if this is my original function values, okay? Let's see if I can uh, group those together. Group. All right, so I have this value of these functions. I can take this and actually now find the inverse function by looking at the table of this function right here. What we know is that all of these values are switched. So that means that this point, negative 2, 4, with the inverse point, I should have a value which is going to be the Juxtaposition, juxtaposition of these values, where they're switched. So if I Im if I get an output of 4, if I input 4 into the inverse, I should get out negative 2, which is the input of this one. Everything is switched. That's the key thing. Everything is switched. If I plug in a 0 into the inverse, I should get out a negative 1. If I plug in a negative 2, I should get out a 3, because that's what happens when you have inverses. That's one of the cool properties. If I plug in a negative 3, I should get out a 4. Now, when I take those values, I'm going to now simplify it, and I'm going to graph them. So I just found my table of values by taking the original points and switching them around. Okay? Flipping them. Flipping. So from here, I'm going to now graph this new value. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 2. And now, when I graph this, see if there is actually a symmetrical relationship between the y equals x axis. And I got 0, negative 1. 0, negative 1. Is also right there. I have 3, 1, 2, 3, and negative 2, which is going to be, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. Sorry about that. Take this 4, negative 2, check. All right, 0, negative 1. Check. Okay, now we're going somewhere. Negative 2, 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, 3, which would be right there. Check. All right. 
And then negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, is right there. Okay. And check. Now, from here, I'm going to connect the dots. And create a graph. Should be symmetrical over that line. And if you notice, it is symmetrical over that line. These values are switched because now they're going over there. And these values right here are switched, and now it has symmetry. This one is over here, and they have symmetrical relationship over that y equals x line. And that is how we can graph an inverse function. The key thing is identifying the points and creating that table. If all the points are switched, which are very are flipped, that's going to be very important, and that there is symmetry over this y equals x line. And you can see that. Okay. And so that will conclude our different lessons. We have six different lessons on how to find inverses. Um, if you have any questions, there are several other great tutorials online for many other math teachers you can check those out. But hopefully this has helped out, and uh, good luck with the rest of your problems.